Got her all clean now. Yeah, she's showing her age, but still looks beautiful in videos and pictures. Very movie and TV worthy, which it was back in New York City. Lord knows how much stuff I did with this 70. Some of you have actually been in it, and some of you haven't. It's been probably at least a decade since I made a video about this car, if I did it at all. But this is the one that started it all. The 70 Coupe de Ville. Got this a year after my dad was killed. Kept my mom happy. Gave us something to do to go to car shows with me. And some of you met her. Some of you didn't. But this is the one I'll never get rid of. The interior's still looking the same. Original leather. I think it's come to the point with this car that I'll never really restore anything. I guess it could be a candidate for past preservation award with the Cadillac LaSalle Club. I do what I have to on it, like what we're waiting for now to get our new fuel line. Still looks good. AC works too. Both power windows. It wasn't the most option Coupe de Ville. No cruise, but down the road you realize that this stuff is a blessing. I made extra money with this back seat. No, nothing perverted. Just they could fit a lot of camera gear back here. And I got bumped on the Americans quite a few times because we had a cameraman looking out that window over there or this one here. Pretty roomy. You don't get this today that easily unless you get a truck. Doors still look beautiful too. No complaints. of a door it was about three feet long I'd say and when you close that door sounds like a vault purchased these diamondback tires for the 2013 Grand National in Quincy Mass got them from diamondback that's supposed to be the correct white wall on the side uh, Brooklyn to Quincy, Mass is about 220 miles. Put these on the day before the trip. The judges took points off for condition of the tires. You believe that? <laughs> Unbelievable. 220 miles on the tires. Basically, they're telling me that the tires look like crap. And there's that beautiful nose, which I love. It's really classically designed, especially when you get those wings on the front fenders. Now, a lot will say to me, a Coupe de Ville did not come with this and this. You're absolutely right. The gentleman I bought it off of, Mike Alper, he put those on. He customized them, but they are genuine Cadillac parts. So if somebody doesn't like them, that's their problem. I do, and at times I just can't be another brick in the wall. Same with that rocker molder down there. That's from a Fleetwood. I was the only guy in Brooklyn that I knew who had that on my Coupe de Ville. But again, genuine Cadillac part. And then of course, the snake head. They used to call me the snake in TJ Bentley's. Ralph Manza coined that word for me, or my, that nickname for me. He used to walk in the place and he used to say, here comes the snake. I'd open the hood for you, but you've seen it in other videos. And I'm hurting right now. It's one of those days. So on that note, who's better than you?